ESRI has been holding this uh, battery safety summit, which we now call Energy Storage Safety Summit, since 2015. We have gone to several different countries to speak about the safety of uh, batteries and energy storage systems. We need to find global cooperation between, between the player around the world. ESRI is, is driven to, to make batteries safer through research. And at GRC, we want to make policy and support policy to make batteries safer. So that is a good fit. Energy storage systems are a global phenomenon. We, it's not uh, isolated to any one country or any one part of the world. We've been around the world a few times and we've looked at the needs of different uh, collaborators and we've uh, organized the summits based on, on their needs. We found out that there was going to be an abuse test facility that was going to be done in uh, the JRC here in Patan and it would be a great opportunity for people uh, to look at it, learn from it and also provide you know, advice on how it could be done better. So we thought this would be a great location for us to have the event. The mission is broader than just one organization, one institution one country. It takes all of us to make a difference as it relates to safety science. So when you bring on experts from different um, you know, geographic areas working on the same science and uh, using best practices, it really helps us uh, accumulate all those knowledges and also share what we are doing no one country, no one laboratory has a monopoly on um, insights, knowledge, innovation. And if you try to you know, build only on your own foundation, then you will perforce make slower progress. Um, I, I think there's widespread recognition at this stage that it's through sharing data, sharing knowledge, um, sharing progress, that we all move forward faster together. How can the whole world work together uh, in order to tackle, you know, the similar problems that we have. This technology is, is global, so batteries and in general cars work in the same way in the, in the United States, in Europe and in Asia as well. Unfortunately, people get hurt in the same way, so we need to find, um, and we can find, therefore, a, a global minimum technical regulation. It is easy for citizens to believe that batteries are unsafe. But of course, we also need to work at making them even safer. We had a fantastic session where the first responders provided their perspectives and experiences here. And I think all of that is extremely valuable. As researchers, we need to identify the problems that are relevant. I served as a firefighter for now for 37 years. I have the feeling that the firefighters were not well informed regarding new energy sources. So if you make something uh, that's easy to understand, always in the same flow, same symbols, same headings, this is great. And not only for the responders, but also for the manufacturers who have to make it. There's a lot of similarities, but if you can structurize this, we can make it so easy. So we look at it as a global effort uh, to have more safer uh, battery system than a regional effort. As we seek to decarbonize our energy sources, which is very important for climate change, we need ways to store the energy that renewable energy generates, but sometimes when we don't need to use it right then. So increasingly, batteries are finding a place, energy storage systems more generally. And in order to mitigate the risks associated with that energy storage, which can be fire, for example, it's very important that we understand how to make that safe, how to protect property and people from potential unfortunate consequences. And it's through the gathering here of a lot of people who are focused on that, that we hope to share knowledge and make progress. I think these international summits are really important. Uh, it is a great way to bring together researchers from different parts of the world who are all working on similar topics, but they have different experiences. So working together between different regions is, is important and there are 
The simple reason is resources are limited. So together we can simply do more. If we all understand the technology, don't misuse it, and communicate and collaborate with each other, we can make the world safer.